Hello, my friends. <clears throat> Today I want to show you something about a bottle cap. My voice is crackly. Don't worry about that. But usually, you'll throw stuff like this away, won't you? You'll throw this good flexible plastic in the trash. And this too. Believe it or not, this is actually good plastic. It's just that it's so thin it ain't really that good. But this right here, today I'm going to be playing with a soldering iron and a bottle cap. I don't know if the thing's hot enough yet. I see heat. Yeah. See how it melts right through? This plastic is very easy to work with. Very easy. Alright, so today... I'm sure everybody is familiar with these headphone jacks. This headphone jack right here goes to my tape adapter. The tape adapter plays through the tape player to the speakers. Goes to the amplifier and you know how all that works. Anyway, these plugs right here to the tape adapter, you probably already know these headphone plugs are cheap and they're designed to fail. So, a lot of times I'll wrap duct tape around it just to give it some more strength. But, as you see, I've already had to work on this wire a couple times. I want to design this to where it's not going to fail again. So, now that our soldering iron's hot and our bottle cap is here, we're going to melt that plastic to the plug. All right. Easiest way I can think of doing this. Hang on, let me put the camera right here. Here we go. Easiest way I can think of doing this would be to actually put the plug right where the plastic is and just melt it like this. I would hold the camera and like, you know, show me everything or show you how I'm doing this, but uh, it's hard to do and I don't want to burn myself. So I'm just going to do it here. Melt the plastic. You want to melt it right at the top here, like on the sides, because that's where your wires usually break. Just going to gently melt the plastic. Man, this stuff is lethal. But as you can see, once we get the plastic melted around the wire, the camera cut me off. But uh, what I was saying was, this plastic, when it dries, is going to give your wire here more strength than what it had before. As you see, I already got duct tape, but I want this thing to be mighty strong. Because, uh, at least me, I don't know about anybody else, but I take my radio everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, dude. The woods, the city, my buddy's house, bike rides, everywhere. Everywhere. The radio comes with me, and I need this thing to be durable. So, if you're like me, I don't know, man. You got a soldering iron. You, you can make a lot of stuff. So, uh, I'm going to finish doing this, and, uh, yeah. <laughs>
All right, now as you can see, this is our plug. Not done yet, but uh, took the soldering iron and I melted the plastic all the way down to the duct tape. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm letting this dry. It's dry already on the outside, but I want it to harden and stick to the duct tape before I mess with it anymore. Plus, all this stuff is burning off the soldering iron, and I need some air, so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to let this dry and believe it or not though, you try and squeeze this now, you can't even squeeze it. The wires are definitely stronger than what they were. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll finish doing this in a second. Alright, I'm going to smooth out the plastic a little more than, than what it was. Really, I think it's almost done. I don't need much more plastic, I just want to smooth out what I already did. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm just going to smooth out the plastic. Just going to smooth it out. Alright, I just looked back at the camera and realized you couldn't really see me soldering this stuff. But all I really did was, I'll show you now. All I really did was take the soldering iron and go like this. To smooth out the plastic, just like I'm doing now. That's basically all I did. Sorry, you couldn't really see it too good on the video, but... That is the final result of the plug. It's still pretty warm. It's not, well, the plastic's hard, but it's not really as hard as it should get yet. It's not really fully settled, so I'm going to set that there like that. And after a while, it, uh, once the plastic gets hard, that should definitely protect the plug. Now, it doesn't look professional or fancy like a lot of people wish it would, but at least you know now that the plug has a coating of plastic over it the way they should have made it in the first place at least you know it ain't gonna break now if you're one of the people that like to get fancy and want to get creative I have a thing for you to do I just gotta look around and find some kind of color plastic color plastic hmm. Color plastic. What do we have up here? No plastic. Uh, that's cardboard. Hmm. Plastic, plastic. Ah, plastic. Look at that. Hmm. Alright, I couldn't find any color plastic, so I figured I would use clear plastic. Now... If you wanted to get fancy, you can find like a color plastic bottle and melt the plastic onto whatever it is you're melting. And that way it'll look a little fancy, but I'm just going to use it. Alright. Sorry about that, the camera cut off again. Anyway. Now I'm going to burn a hole through the plastic, like right here, so I can wrap that around the end.
All right. I had to take a couple minutes to breathe because the fumes were killing me, man. If you start melting this plastic, seriously, if you start melting this plastic, make sure you have a fan on or something like I do. I got my fan on over there. And in the bathroom, I got the exhaust fan on in there, too, so... Air is blowing from over there, it's coming past me, it's coming past all the smoke, and it's blowing it out in the hallway, and then the exhaust fan is sucking up the air from out there, so... I have ventilation, believe it or not, doing this. If you were, like, sitting in a room with a closed door, you could, you could seriously die, man. Be careful with this stuff. Plastic is awesome, but don't kill yourself over it. <laughs> Alright, now this is our finished plug. I put enough plastic on here, believe it or not, it's still hot. It's been a good eight minutes now. And the plastic is not hot, but you can tell it, you know, it's still warm. May not look all that cool, but this is very strong. I mean, I can try and bend this right now. I can only bend down here. Right here, dude, no matter how hard you try, you cannot even bend that. And that's where your wires usually break, right in here. Because they have these cheap little thin wires. They run here and then they use a cheap solder right at the joint. And every time you bend this, those wires weaken and eventually they break. So, uh, luckily, those wires are protected now in their little shell. <laughs> Alright, now, I'm just going to double check this to make sure I didn't melt anything I wasn't supposed to melt. So, uh, the amp's on. I just got to get some music on the phone here. Let's see if she plays. I think she's rocking. If you have a uh, headphone plug, don't just let it break. Fix the problem before it happens, brother, because once those plugs break, they're hard to fix. Let the God of peace be with you all. Brothers and sisters, love one another. If you have any questions, any comments, anything, feel free. Send me a message, comments. Even if you just want to talk, feel free, man. I'm here. Peace, love.